So the good thing about Comscore is we've actually been measuring the addressable marketplace for television since 2012 because we have our partners, our DISH and uh, DirecTV, AT&T, now Xander. And so we have actually been uh, handling their measurement for, you know, eight years. And so that that's not new. Uh, the uh, evolution of that to get into national addressable is kind of the exciting forefront and what's been keeping uh, us up at night and figuring out how are we going to handle this, how are we going to serve the needs of the publisher community in terms of the networks that want to maybe participate in this national uh, addressable area. Now when you say national addressable, are you talking about things like Project OR and what Nielsen is up to, or more just so what Ampersand and, and other companies where it's, well, it's becoming bigger? Or, it's or actually both. where um, the MVPDs are looking at allowing the networks the opportunity to take their minutes and put it into the addressable pool, because we have to agree, up until today, yes. addressable has been an MVPD or a connected uh, TV provider. Uh, alone. Right. That, that is their resource. And so networks really couldn't participate at that at a television level. And so now with uh, Project Or, with uh, you know Nielsen's uh, beta that's going on with their acquisition of Sorensen, and uh, with uh, Xander's uh, National uh, Addressable Consortium, they're allowing those minutes to maybe come into their pool. And so I think that they're is um, a great interest in to be able to participate in national addressable. The challenge is how does that break their uh, linear ad load right. and how are they going to evaluate? So, you know, it, it's one thing to be able to uh, provide precise measurement for the addressable ad. It's another thing to be able to evaluate. You need to, to be uh, a, a stable and predictable uh, measurement so that you can actually figure out the optimization uh, and pricing of that inventory. Right, right. Now, just because I, I know a lot of people don't always understand, how does Comscore actually measure the addressable ads? Like, what's, what is the oh, technical? Well that, technical? Uh, that is, uh, th that's very interesting. So we have the one-to-one -one relationship with the MVPDs that are providing us the return path data. And so we have second-by-second clickstream data from that return path, and we are able to uh, have the ad uh, placement uh, delivered to us and so then we actually measure the second so it, whether it's a five second you know a 30 second or 60 second ad we're putting a precise measurement to that directly from the input from the mvpds do you think that addressable will ever become the dominant for in the next five years going to be should it become the dominant form of advertising or do you think it's sort of a <laughs> the, I don't have the crystal ball, right. but I think that the interest is there to try to move it forward, but I think that we're light years away from that because it's one thing to solve it as a measurement company. Right. It's another thing to then have that measurement uh, infiltrate the ecosystem because it's not just about the buy side and the sell side having the data. You have to go through all the third parties that help uh, both sides process their data, do their planning, uh, allocations, uh, inventory management, pricing controls. There's an entire ecosystem that has to be uh, built to consume this new form of data uh, that is addressable. So I think it, we're, we might be years away, but I think it's the most exciting thing in the marketplace today, and definitely uh, the interest is there.